Hello everybody, hope that you're doing very well and welcome to today's cryptocurrency technical analysis where I am going to be going through the XRP chart and answering the question of is it time to buy XRP? I see the question on everybody's mind right now as it has recently saw the move to the upside and its first retracement down. So we're going to go over this from the technical analysis perspective. So without further said ado, let's jump into the charts. I think if we come up to the three-day chart, then we can see really clearly what XRP is doing over the last you know, few years now. It's going, obviously, with its lower highs and lower lows. Okay, another lower low, lower high, another lower low, another lower high. But is this time to finally get a trend change? Okay, so we're gonna, we've obviously got our monthly levels marked out. Monthly is obviously so important. But what we're going to do is we're going to add some Fibonacci onto this and add some channels onto this. And this gives a good perspective of when is the downtrend sort of over and is it is it time to look into buying XRP? I must stress this video is not financial advice. <laughs> this is just an entertainment educational video only. So be aware of that. And with that said, let's jump into the charts. So I think the, the best section to focus on is, is really from the high that was made on the uh, around uh, middle of October 2019. Okay, so we're talking about one year of price action. And from this one year of price action, we are with the local downtrends. So I feel that this is the most important part of the chart to focus on. The first thing that I'm going to be doing here is adding a channel. Okay, and I'm going to connect the highs and down to the first low made. So you can see here, this is how I construct channels. I will say I have a whole, what the video is about one and a half hours, uh, which is a free video on YouTube for the public, which is just labeled like how to mark your parallel channels. And parallel channels are extremely useful. So if this is a new subject to you or you'd like to brush up, just check the free video that I've made over on YouTube. It's within the learn technical analysis playlist, all for free. So moving on, we have this very nice downtrend channel. We're connecting the high to the low to the high. What I love about this channel is the fact that when we zoom down onto a lower term time frame, you can just see the respect that it has really got. You can see as it came down to the low of the channel, it got its first bounce. And then when it come down to the low of the second monthly low down here, you can see the respect of that channel with nothing short of perfection. And this is why we love technical analysis. Because it, it times the lows like this, you've seen this on greater markets such as Bitcoin time and time again. You've seen this on the ES recently. The channels are really nice. And what you can see from this is the low of the channel being tapped with precision. Moving up to the middle of the channel, tapped with absolute precision before coming down, coming back into resistance, resistance, support, moving up in the chart. And if we zoom into the one hour, you will see this very nicely indeed, how then you manage to flip resistance break the middle of the channel, support, support, and then resistance, resistance, back into support. So XRP, we can, I feel we can safely agree, this is extremely technical chart, very well respected technical analysis. From the low of the channel, middle of the channel, resistance, support, flipping the midpoint, moving up to the high. So really the, the channel here is dictating the market, we could say. It is taking the highs and lows, with absolute precision. That is high, low, high, low, high. Really, really nice. So I think the first thing that stands out to me here is, okay, for, for me to get mid-term slash long-term bullish on XRP, I would really like to see this channel broken to the upside. So what this means is a break of the channel. So finally breaking out of that downtrend channel, that for me would be the first major sign and for me, I am, um, you may be aware if you watch my videos recently, I'm becoming more and more and more of a swing trader. So I thoroughly am actually enjoying these higher term time frame trades. I'm, I'm becoming less and less interested in the, the sculpt trades. Um, I'm more interested in the swing trades because they, they are naturally actually a lot easier and less time consuming. So what we can see here is the downtrend channel, which I think is the first major thing that one would like to see broken. OK, a break of this downtrend channel, which has been so respected for almost one whole year. So that would be that would be brilliant. Then the second second point that you really have is this monthly. OK, it hasn't got like pinpoint respect, but you can see how ultimately it has been unable to really break through this level. The last few times it's attempted, you get the, the move above it, quick, you know, relatively quickly back down. You have not really changed any of the highs. You're still making the lower highs onto the level. And there's not really been a what we would call a claim 
And when you see the level reclaimed, you obviously want to see those volume increases. So you've not really seen that as of yet. So that would be the second point. But you might be under the perspective of, let's say that you're under the perspective of you feel that this is a major low. I mean, what evidence do you have to really think that this is a major low at the moment? You would say that not so much because at the moment the downtrend channel is still intact. But let's say, for example, you wanted to get more aggressive on the long. Well, what I really like about this chart is you have this really what I class as a key level. And we will just set this as the key level template. What we can see is the first low that was put in after the really, 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 really big move to the downside. OK, we're talking from that December 18 where it crashed down heavily and put its first low in around August 19. If you actually put the key level on this, then look at the respect that you have here. You can see that it was low support 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 now flipped back into resistance okay and what you can do is that's obviously where it's attached to the first low if you attach it to the secondary low then what you can see that that is the secondary low before a very big move to the upside in terms of percentage 57 percent move to the upside that was the low that led to that high and what you can see here is the support support and what you got over the last, you know, literally last night, was that level tested as resistance. So you have more of a local level that you could say, OK, this is a level that I want to see claims next. I think you have to, one would say, personally, I am conservative when it comes to the altcoins. I, I, I don't feel there's any need to be ultra aggressive. I mean, statistically speaking, and what we have from the chart, you, you, the chart's more likely to go down. So why try and time the lows? Why data cost average into a coin that's just going down and down and down and down? Obviously, I, I acknowledge that some people are in this for the long term. So, but I'm talking from a from a trader's perspective. And let's be totally honest. It's the traders that make money in cryptocurrency. People that just hold things forever generally have not made so much money when it comes to the altcoins. Obviously, yes, we all know 2017 insane amount of money but the majority of the people have, have lost it all again haven't they anyway moving back over onto the charts what we can say is statistically speaking that it's in a downtrend it hasn't claimed any major resistances but um it's potentially showing showing some signs if it can claim these local resistance levels which i've just shown you that first key level the downtrend channel the monthly those are the three levels to be very much aware of when it comes to trading xrp obviously what you do have here is if this decides to make another move to the downside, you would have the confluence once again of the middle of the channel coming to the monthly. If this takes another month or so to decline, you would then have that confluence where you could imagine maybe it comes up and fall down. All to be aware of is that monthly on the middle of the channel. And that's obviously coming in at, you know, a few zeros here, uh, 1918 sats. So we're obviously looking at the spot here over on Binance. Um, that, for me, would make an interesting trade, especially if it could swing for your pattern the lows. That would be, for me, a accept, acceptable long trade. One second. Excuse me. That, for me, would be an acceptable acceptable trade that I would be willing to take. I mean, where it is at the moment, one has to say it feels as if it's in almost no man's land. So when you are trading off of structure as it has now, it's you're trading off a very local term time frame trade. So this would be based off something such as a four hour, one hour trade. Whereas if we're looking at this as, as on a big time frame perspective, you know, we're not so drawn into what's happening on the local. OK, we're looking at a big picture. We're interested in the big, big moves. And to get into a big, big move, you are generally waiting for that, you know, bigger term time frame trend change. Um, what you see about this channel, by the way. Um, when you look back into the charts, you can see how this was actually previously respected. If you look here, the resistance, so I will zoom in here so you can see it correctly, how this was way back, way back resistance level, and then when broken, flipped back into support. So that's that's what I think is very interesting. The way you, you flip this into resistance, sorry, that resistance into support, that was that is what led you to the 270% move to the upside. And then you can see back in August 2018, how this channel then come back into play once again with support, resistance, support, breakout. Okay, and that obviously then led you back into a resistance support flip for another move to the upside before ultimately, as we know, breaking back into this channel and continuing with its weakness. 
So yeah, I mean, the, the, the channel is the standout star of the show. <laughs> Let's be totally honest. The, the channel has been nothing short of perfection. And again, I do have a free public video on YouTube if you want to if you want to check that out. Um, I do recommend it. It's about an hour and a half long, but it's, it's worth it's worth watching. Um, so yeah, that's that's my perspective. Really, XRP giving a larger term time frame view on the chart levels where I would be interested in potentially buying XRP and why. At the moment, I feel one, in, in terms of the risk to reward ratio that's given off this, I personally would prefer to wait for that extra step of confirmation, which then gives me a much higher probability in seeing upside potential on this on this asset. Okay, I do view the asset for what it is. I will trade the charts. I don't care whether it's XRP, it's EOS, or whether it's Bitcoin. I will trade them all in the exact same way. So that's my perspective here on XRP. Um, I will say, if you like these sort of in-depth analysis, well, this has been half in-depth, I've done it in 10 minutes. If you like to see long-term time frame analysis, more, more in-depth, then obviously this is a service we offer over at Chart Champions. Um, I'm going to have to take another cough. Excuse me, everybody. I'm really sorry. It's, it's early morning for me, 10 a.m. <laughs> um, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up down below. If you haven't enjoyed it, simply give it a dislike. I hope that you have enjoyed the video nevertheless, and I will catch you in the next update. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye. Cheers.